Welcome to our third episode of What's Up World Team, joined today by Polina Edmonds and Alexis Lameca and Christopher Kinnearum. Uh Alexa and Chris in Colorado Springs, uh, Paulina in California, where I'm guessing the weather's a little different than Colorado Springs. Uh, but we thank you guys for taking the time to join us today. Um, we'll start the same way we started the other ones, which is, can each of you guys talk a little bit about how your training's been going uh, the last few weeks as we get ready for Boston. Uh, Paulina, why don't you start things off? Training's been going fine. Um, just really doing the same thing. Just, yeah, just getting ready for Boston the same way I always have. All right, Alexa and Chris. Uh, training's been going well. Um, I mean, we're going to be ready to go in, I don't know, a week and a half, almost two weeks. So we compete, so we're excited, and you know we're gonna throw down. <laughs> well, so that kind of goes into the next question, which is how exciting is it to compete in a World Championships in your home country in Boston? Obviously, um, you know that's a it's a great skating town. So what's that like skating in a, in a world's not only a world's but a, a world's in your home country? Uh, Alexa and Chris, why don't you start? Um, I mean, it's going to be awesome. We're going to have uh, a lot of friends there. Um, it's going to be different because our last two were in Canada and then in uh, China. So, I mean, I know it's going to be exciting. I guess it's not, you know, it hasn't hit us yet until we, you know, walk into the building. And we've, we've all been there before, so um, it'll be a little familiar, which will be nice. Uh, we know that the Boston crowd is going to be awesome. Yeah, it's supposed to be sold out, so it's going to be fun. Uh, Polina, Boston obviously probably has a special place in your heart, uh, a, a great time out in 2014 uh, at TD Garden, so what are you most looking forward to? I'm really excited to go back because I've got all these great memories there and everything, so it's going to be really exciting just to be back and have all the deja vu moments, but yeah, Having a world in your home country, I feel like it's going to be really special, and it's just going to be so, like, exciting. Like, worlds is always exciting, but to be in your home country and to have, like, the crowd be, there's going to be a lot of Americans in the crowd, I'm guessing, so it's going to be really hyped up, and I'm really excited to experience the excitement and just take it all in. Yeah, certainly will be exciting, and for, for fans watching at home, that all coming up here at the end of the month. Uh, we'll be live on Ice Network, also um, on NBC. Um, this is a question for everyone, and it came in from Twitter, which was, uh, what's your favorite skating element? Uh, Paulina, let's start with you. Hmm. Um, I, I would say I like the footwork. I mean, for me, it kind of changes every year depending on what I have. So I guess this season, at least, my favorite element is the footwork because I really like my footworks this season and how they flow with my program. So it's pretty fun to do them. What's your least favorite element? <laughs> oh. <laughs> um... I guess, uh, I would say I, I don't love spinning. I like spinning enough, like it's fine, but like in the heat of the moment in the program, it takes so much energy to be able to whip out a good spin. So those aren't my favorite, I guess. <laughs> All right, Alexa and Chris, we need your favorite and your least favorite. <laughs> uh, for me, my favorite would be twist. Um, I've always loved to do it. Uh, and my least favorite would definitely be side-by-side -side spins. Uh, I like triple twists, not quad, and um, I don't like lifts. <laughs> how, uh, someone did ask, how, how did you guys learn to do the quad twist? I mean, how much time did that take? I cried right before we tried it. <laughs> I was so scared. I still get really scared if we take, like, some time away from it, and it's the first one I have to do. I always have a panic attack right before, but um, I mean, we pretty much just like went for it. You know, there you, we couldn't like just like tippy toe around it. We had to just you know go for it. We went a little slower than our normal speed, but I mean, we just went for it and went from there. Yeah, the first two were under rotated 
because I was trying to figure out where, how much to squeeze in the air, but it got a little easier after like the third week to not freak out. Try before nationals. Yeah. <laughs> Chris, what kind of pressure is that when you're, uh, you know, I mean, you, you see her getting nervous and, and, and you're here having to kind of make sure she doesn't, uh, you, you know, you, you have to play a big role in it. What, what kind of pressure do you feel with that? Um, I don't know if there's so much pressure. I just try and go back to making sure I stay calm because a lot of times if I give it a little too much gusto, um, I'm quick and then the twist is really bad. So I just try and stay calm and, you know, keep to doing the correct technique. Very interesting. Uh, Paulina, this next one was for you, and the question was, what, what do you do uh, for relaxation when you're not on the ice? I come home and just <laughs> chill with my family, but yeah, I kind of just, I hang out with my friends from school and from the rink, and uh, my little brother, we like to go out and do things too, so just hanging out with people really. <laughs> Alexa and Chris, how about you guys? Uh, outside the ring to hang out. Um, I mean, when the weather's nice, we'll go fishing. Uh, we've been camping. like doing things outdoors. I work on cars. So I got one in the driveway right now i got to fix. Um, I mean, you know, there's always Netflix and things like that. Um, but, we, I mean, we like to go outdoors, and we take Cammy out when we can. Yeah, like, what's that Netflix chill and snacks? <laughs> they have, they have T-shirts that say that. Uh, yeah, we just like to be hermits. Well, that, that leads right into the an, another question, which is, uh, what are you guys watching on Netflix right now, to all of you? Paulina, you go first. Me first? Oh. Mm. Well, I actually just finished recently binge-watching Once Upon a Time because of all those fairy tale stories. They're cool. But yeah, right now I'm watching Fuller House. Uh, we finished Nurse Jackie not too long ago. We really liked that one. Yeah. That was funny. Um, I watch House um, every once in a while. And then we have uh, actually a new show on Hulu that we started watching. Uh, so we have to wait like once a week for it to come out, new episodes. And they just finished The Bachelor. <laughs> well, I, 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 Alexa, I, I've uh, heard that you're quite a fan of the uh, of the Bachelor, so I, I'm sure I'm sure uh, there are many fans out there right there with you that, that watched uh, this week when as it ended. Uh, another question: Do you guys know how to cook, uh, and uh, do you like to cook? Uh, Alexa, let's start with you, then Chris, then Paulina. You see that? That's a scar. That's a burn because I was trying to cook pork chops for Chris. <laughs> and now it's there forever. Um, I don't mind <laughs> cooking. I don't I'm not very good at it, but that's because like Chris cooks more often because he eats more than me. I'm pretty simple, you know. I um like to put the bag of lettuce in a bowl. And then grill some chicken or something. Keep it simple. So I'd say I'm a good chef for myself. And Chris tolerates it. I made him French toast on Sunday. I, that was a good batch. That was good. Yeah. It depends. Sometimes, like sometimes the eggs are. I don't do well for him. <laughs> but she can't eat them. Um, she does a great job, uh, regardless of what she says. Um, I really like to cook. Um. I started this year cooking a lot more at the house um, and a lot more fresh stuff. So, like the other day, we like just sat down and just chopped up a bunch a bunch of vegetables. We like put it in like a big Tupperware and then I cook steak with the vegetables and or rice or. Um, like this is dinner for the week. <laughs> See, there you go, all chopped up, ready to go. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> um. So, yeah, we cook a lot. I mean, I probably don't have, like, a huge variety of things that I cook, but I like to cook or grill. Paulina, how about you? I like cooking a lot, actually. Yeah. I 
I'm more of a baker myself, I'd say. You go, I, girl. I mean, it feels like cooking. <laughs> but, yeah, it's I like baking uh, cupcakes and <laughs> other things. My cousin got me a cupcake book last year for my birthday from Martha Stewart, so I've tried almost every single recipe in there. So, yeah, I just love doing the cute little things, and I like bringing, like, platters to the rink and having everyone, like, taste test it. It's pretty fun. <laughs> yeah, feel feel free to send some to uh, yeah. U.S. figure skating. You can bring definitely. it to Boston, too. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this next question, uh, just for Chris. Um, Chris, do cats ever get on your nerves? Uh, no. Well, not our cats. I don't know. We have great cats, so I don't know. But, um, I mean, when I was younger, my sister had a few cats while we were growing up, and they, like, hated me, so that got on my nerves. But uh, our cats are great, so I don't have any issues. And I got a dog, so, like, it's a nice balance. How did the, the cat and the dog get along? Oh, really well, actually. It's kind of funny. Um, they're like best friends. Yeah, Scarlet licks Cammy a lot. And they cuddle, and it's cute. <laughs> Very nice. Paulina, any pets for you? I have a dog. He is a Labradoodle. So he doesn't shed, which is something my mom really likes. <laughs> but, yeah, I love dogs. I, I like all animals. We used to have a cat when I was really young. Um, and then we had a fish, and now we have a dog. So, <laughs> yeah. Uh, Paulina, this one uh, for you. Uh, do you have any ideas about college yet? Any hints on where you're considering? I have applied to many colleges. Um, yeah, it's it's a really crazy time of the year right now for all of us at school and everything because we're getting the accepted letters back. And my, I definitely want to go to college um, next fall and everything. It's, I feel like it's going to be a great part of life, so I'm really excited, and I've already gotten a few acceptance letters. Um, I'm hoping to stay in the Bay Area just because I'm really comfortable here, and training-wise it would make sense, and um, I am I just love the Bay Area, and so we'll see what I decide, but um, yeah, it's really exciting. <laughs> well, everyone, uh, stay tuned for that, and, and cross your fingers, too, uh, for Paulina as she starts receiving uh, what I'm sure will be many, many acceptance letters. Uh, this next question for all of you, um, what's the coolest thing about being a world-class figure skater? Um, I would have to say getting to travel the world. Um, I mean, I probably would never have dreamt of doing this uh, when I was younger, being able to travel so much, but it's really nice um, and we're really fortunate to be able to travel to different countries and um, you know, experience the different uh, sides of the world. Um, so that's probably the my favorite part about it. Alex, how about you? Yeah, I agree. But I also like meeting the fans that tell me that like um, our skating brings them joy or something like that. Like, though, especially like if we skate bad and they say that, then I feel good. <laughs> um, <laughs> Uh, yeah, I, I like I like meeting people from all over the world, you know, and, and they they know who we are and acknowledge that. That's a cool feeling. Uh, Paulina? Yeah, I really like the traveling. Obviously, that aspect is really cool and meeting the fans, too. Um, but really, I feel like just the recognition, uh, not necessarily like people knowing that you're like a world-class skater or anything like that, but mostly it's just the opportunity to get to represent your country and just know that you've made it to that stage after all of the hard work that you've been like putting into this sport for so many years. It's, I think that's probably the best part, just to know that um, you you did earn it and you're really getting to live like that now. Is there a favorite place that uh, all of you have traveled? Uh, Paulina, let's start with you. It's hard to pinpoint <laughs> my favorite place, really. I I kind of appreciate different details of different places everywhere, so I don't really have, like, a favorite because just there are so many different moments that um, I really enjoyed, like landscaping and the people and the event itself, so I've, I've really enjoyed traveling everywhere. 
What about you guys? Um, I mean, I mean, we love to travel, and uh, everyone, you know, that we meet is so nice. So, I mean, I, we love to go to Japan. We've always had good experiences in Japan. Um, the fans, the atmosphere, um, is always so inviting and so great. Um, but I mean, every every place has its own little, you know, thing that you find that you like. So, I mean, every place is awesome, but the fans and Japan is. <laughs> this uh, this next one for Alexa and Chris uh, from Twitter. How lucky do you feel to get to skate with someone who is also so compatible with you off the ice? <laughs> really lucky. Lucky enough to marry that person. I think. <laughs> oh, it's so cool though because like all those really special moments that you can't put into words or explain to like your significant other, like. I get to share that with him. Like, I'll never be able to explain like the excitement I felt after our free program at Four Continents, but I don't have to because he was there with me. And you know, it goes the same for like the hardships too. Like, it's what builds like um, your character, and we're building that character together. So it's it's cool. The double dip. <laughs> uh, Chris mentioned the wedding. How is the wedding planning going? Uh, really good. Uh, we're almost there. Yeah, no problems. Well, you have I to mean, show up. Yeah, at this point we almost just have to show up. There's a couple little things here and there, but I mean, it's pretty much all done. All right, all righty. Another another question from Twitter. Uh, who did you guys look up to um, skaters uh, growing up um, that sort of have influenced the way that you are on the ice uh, today? Paulina, let's start with you. Um, I've always had like my several top skaters that I have always kept in my mind. Um, the first one would be Michelle Kwan for her, her mental strength and how she was just always on point at every competition. And um, Sasha Cohen for her artistry and just she moved so beautifully. It was very unique and it was something I wanted to kind of like follow along. And so also the Terrell Pinsky. Um, her whole story always inspired me because I knew I'd be 15 in Sochi and I really wanted to um, be able to compete there just like she did. Alexa and Chris? Uh, when I was growing up, uh, I loved to watch Scott Hamilton. Um, uh, he was always uh, very entertaining to watch. Um, and then I always loved going to Stars on Ice when I was younger. Um, now that I'm in the pairs, I mean, Gordieva and Greenkoff. Uh, is who I look up to when I was when I first started, um, and I mean it's you know with how we've grown, I've seen uh, some similarities, um, and I could see they're skating in a different way now than I did when I started pairs. So, um, but yeah, that's probably for me. Yeah, I'm along the same lines as Paulina because um, I skated singles till I was 18, and I didn't really pay too much attention to pairs. Um, so I had the same girls that I looked up to, especially Sasha. I really admired her. Um, and then when I started pair skating, I started to research and kind of look into the past. And I love Gordieva and Greenkoff. They're just amazing. Um, but I, I like the Russian style, like the very long lines and elegance that most teams in the past have had. So... It's kind of a broad. I don't really have one particular favorite besides Chris. But <laughs> what's, uh, what's the, the, the your favorite program that you've ever skated? Um, you know, it can it can be a long time ago. It can be last year. It can be this season. Um, what's your all time favorite? I loved our Mohicans program. Oh my god, it was <laughs> I love that one. We had it for a hot second. We, yeah, we used it like three times. Coupe Denise, sectionals, and NHK, and then we swapped it out for nationals. And I just thought it was so cool. That's one of my favorites. I All of them are my favorite for some reason, except for the ones. Okay. But, um, <laughs> yeah. Uh, I don't really have a favorite. I mean, I think they're, they're all were my favorite at one point or another, depending on how they were skated. Uh, but... Uh, I don't think there was one that, you know, stood out 
above her eye. Paulina, how about you? Mm, I like all my programs. They're funny. <laughs> <laughs> um, but if I had to say, one that really stands out for me is my um, junior year in 2012. At, it was in San Jose in my hometown, Nationals, and I had this cowgirl short program. And just all season, I had been getting feedback that they, like, just people didn't like the program, they didn't like my costume, they just they weren't feeling the cowgirl vibe, and I needed to change my music and my costume and just everything about the program. And I got to Nationals, and I had so much friends and family come, and um, everyone from the rink obviously was there, and the light sh shined down on me, and I skated a clean short, finally, and just, I got a standing ovation, and then all of a sudden, everyone loved the program, so. <laughs> it, that's so true. It's my favorite program. <laughs> you know, I have to say, that's with, like, all programs. If a skater comes out with a new program, and they can't do it clean, the program is horrible, and they should change it, and they should reinvent themselves and be a new person because this program's not working. And then they skate clean and it's like the heavens open and this is the greatest program ever and you're brilliant. Exactly. So. So, <laughs> you skate to whatever you want. Just do it clean and everyone will love it. Well, hey, I think that, that right there is a, is a good way to end. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> because obviously we hope that all of you uh, skate clean in Boston. Again, uh, the 2016 World Figure Skating Championships uh, coming up at the end of this month at Boston's TD Garden. You can watch them on Ice Network and NBC, and of course uh, check out U.S. Figure Skating on social media and the U.S. Figure Skating Fan Zone to stay up to date on all of that. I want to thank uh, all three of you for joining us, uh, taking some time out of your busy evenings to uh, chat with me and chat with the fans, and I want to thank everyone for tuning in tonight, uh, and I'm looking forward to seeing all you guys in Boston. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye.